It is genuinely embarrassing that a common gecko has a superpower that humans don't. I am supposed to be the apex predator, the ruler of the planet, yet if I lose a finger, it's gone forever. Meanwhile, a lizard can drop its tail and grow a brand new one like it's nothing. It feels like a massive design oversight. Think about it. Your body parts are biologically priceless, yet we treat them as disposable until they break. If we had regenerative abilities like a salamander, life would be insane. You could literally donate a kidney for rent money every single month and just grow it back. We are obsessed with this idea. It's why we love characters like Wolverine or Deadpool. We desperately want that healing factor. So why didn't we evolve it? It all comes down to stem cells. When you were an embryo, you were made of these blank slate cells that could become anything. Some decided to become your heart, others your skin, others your brain. But for humans, once those cells pick a career, they retire there. They become highly specialized and can't go back. A gecko, however, keeps a stash of these flexible stem cells in its tail, ready to rebuild at a moment's notice. The second problem is cost. You are a high-performance machine. You are warm-blooded and massive compared to a newt. A salamander is tiny and cold-blooded. It requires very little energy to run. If a human tried to regrow an entire arm, the caloric demand would be astronomical. You physically couldn't eat enough food to fuel the construction without starving to death first. Furthermore, nature is brutal. In the wild, if a large mammal loses a leg, it can't hunt and it can't run. It is effectively dead immediately. Evolution doesn't bother investing in a feature that takes months to work if you're going to be eaten by a lion in 10 minutes. It's a waste of resources. There is also the complexity issue. A lizard tail is structurally simple. A human limb is a nightmare of nerves, bone density, vascular systems, and muscle fibers. Trying to 3D print that organically without errors is nearly impossible. If your cells start dividing that fast to regrow a limb, there is a very high chance they won't stop. In humans, we usually just call that cancer. Ultimately, this comes down to the selfish gene theory. Your genes do not care about your happiness or your longevity. They only care about replication. From an evolutionary standpoint, once you are old enough to have children, your body is somewhat disposable. Spending energy to regrow an arm doesn't help the species survive as much as spending that energy on reproduction. This is the same reason you find people attractive. You see a beautiful person. Your genes see a high-quality vessel for replication. Your body floods your brain with dopamine and hormones to trick you into falling in love just to ensure the genetic line continues. So, when you find yourself scrolling through thirst traps on TikTok for hours, don't blame your lack of discipline. Blame your DNA. You are just a puppet, and your genes are pulling the strings.